It's a blast. Honestly, I, I absolutely love being a religious studies student. I get to have these really exciting conversations that, of things that I have never heard of or learned about and things that I'm familiar with. Yeah, one of the great things about the humanities here at Dayton is that they really try to prioritize and encourage students to not just look at their education through only one lens and only trying to focus on one part, but rather to see how they interact and integrate with each other. And that's something that's especially prevalent in religious studies. And you know, this isn't just a theology program, but it's also a program that prepares you to enter into a variety of professional as well as uh, academic contexts. Religion shapes our lives. It, it shapes everything about your life. It shapes education, it shapes medicine, it shapes science, it shapes politics. It shapes the food that we eat. Uh, religion is, is integral in everyone's life. There's a real, a real genuine interest in who our students are as people, what their questions and desires and education is aiming toward and how we might help them cultivate that. Um, and I think there's a real um, camaraderie around that on the faculty and engagement with our, with our students. So this department has the undergraduate major, it has a big role in general education, it has two master's programs, it has a doctoral program. We have a great faculty, but it's a pretty small faculty to be doing all of that. So we work very closely together. So there's a lot of classes where, you know, we're dealing with topics that they're facing and confronting every day, which enables students to grapple with broad questions about humanity. So we think about, um, we think about what it means to be created in the image of God, and we think about racism and disability and sexism and, and gender and, and all those kind of things. And so students are exposed to a wide range of theological questions and I think and, and get a really robust I think, conversation going. So yeah, there's just a lot. Here at the university, there are so many ways in which we directly connect uh, to, to the community. We help coordinate having local choirs come to celebrate liturgy with students. We have presentations from scholars and also from local members of the community who help students understand the breadth of Catholicism within our local area as well. And then we work with campus ministry and the honors program to provide really a, a very rich experience for these students. So they do both uh, in-class work and then they gather together for various kinds of discussions, faith development. More and more, there are graduate level equivalents. So the professor is teaching you essentially graduate level studies alongside graduate students. And those are often a lot of times the same students who are graduate assistants in your classes. So you're able to develop a really great rapport with them and a really great understanding and look into their research. And they're always willing to talk to you. They're always willing to share their experiences and to grow alongside you. And that's something I've been really thankful for. Students come here with something to offer. Uh, they have something to say. So from the newest student to the oldest faculty member, we're all part of a, a community and we emphasize the, uh, the equality among us. We mean for this to be a friendly place where um, people can ask hard theological questions, tough questions, and also find that Marianist sense of family. What I find distinctive and, and really compelling about the Religious Studies Department at the University of Dayton is the sense of community that exists here and, the, and also the context of mutual support. But I've also been impressed by the, way, the extent to which the faculty are clearly cared for and are compassionate about the students and interested in their success. The fact that I feel so personal about all of this and that the other majors and even the minors and the people that aren't even sure yet Often we will go out of classes and just find a place to sit and talk and we'll continue the conversations that we've had in classes. It keeps your mind going and it keeps shaping you as a person. Know that it is a commitment. I feel like a lot of people go, oh, it's religion. Like that's something you do anyway. And so like it can't be that hard. It's hard. It's a lot of reading. It's a lot of writing. It isn't something that you can kind of just put a little bit of effort into and call a day. Like you really do have to devote your studies to this program, but it's worth putting that time into because you're not gonna just grow as a student, you're not gonna just grow professionally, you're gonna grow as a person. And that I think is the holistic 
experience that you're going to get from Dayton's Religious Studies program.